Welcome back to the Sydney Entertainment Centre. The A-listers are here. Legends from the sporting world and Sonny Michelangelo. Plenty of very familiar faces here to see the contender final and the contender grudge match. All the contenders were in the house. Big Wendell Saylor, who recently had a charity heavyweight bout of his own in the house tonight. Hope you're enjoying wherever you're watching live around Australia on Main Event Boxing. Big Carl Webb, the fairy tale, uh, didn't come true tonight. It certainly didn't. Uh, you know, both men run out of petrol tickets in a big way. Carl Webb was winning the fight, but uh, his, his opponent just had that little bit more gas and finally finished him off with uh, one second remaining in the third round. Main Event is up next. It is Anthony the Man Mundine and Deadly Robert Medley. Paul what are these guys going through in the dressing room at the moment? Ten minutes to call out, five minutes to call out. I think I think Chuck Mundine's fairly relaxed. He's been here plenty of times before. He knows what he's doing. So I think for uh, for Medley, it's a big step up. But in saying that, he's had a hell of a lot of fights too. So I think re being relaxed is the key here. The Anthony Mundine we get to see publicly anyway, very brash, very outspoken. It is not a true indication of the man himself now. Pre-fight, he'd love to, you to believe that there was a party going on in the dressing room. That is not the case with Anthony. No, it's serious, serious business. Um, Anthony Mundine is a serious professional. He's uh, got an incredible record. You know, three defeats in uh, in 40 professional fights now, and all in all in world title fights. And Rob Medley only lost two in 27, both both to a world champion. So, 70 odd fights and five losses between these two guys. It stacks yep. up to be a pretty good bout. Certainly does, Anthony Mundine, Rob Medley. It is our main event, and it is up next on main event boxing for the WBA International Middleweight title. 12 three-minute rounds, I say, with respect. It's about more than this regional title uh, for these two guys. Anthony, in his 41st professional career, can you believe it? He debuted here in June of 2000, and almost a decade later, some 40 fights. For Robbie Medley, his 30th professional bout. Now, the stats that matter. Medley, with the height and reach advantage, only just. Really, the, the stats there, they're going to play no significant part in this one, Barry. You wouldn't think so. Oh, you know, you'd say that Anthony Mundine, shocks definitely got the faster hands. But uh, Rob Medley's a good combination puncher. And in recent fight, Chock hasn't been combination punching like he used to, but yep. I'm told that he's been working on that. So it's going to make it makes for a very interesting fight, I think. It is main event time. Let's go centre ring to Matt Campbell. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our main event. Please welcome to the ring from the red corner, Deadly Rob Medley. Can't wait to get in there. Can't wait for the bell to start. But you have to wait. So you're trying to stay relaxed, and the crowd's pumping you up. You, the song playing, you know, you've selected the play is pumping you up, and you're, you're hopping in the ring. But you're trying to stay relaxed. You just want that bell to ring so much. You just want to fight. Classy Gazi, rock, we might have tumbled, gonna do it, deadly hip, 
hot Can stop me when I'm coming like a snowy when it's slow Show poetry and motion like a boomerang fly All them territories and states, be getting a taste This modern day Karabu real hit your ear like an earthquake Solid rock, standing on sacred ground Living on borrowed time Time is a way to change, blow it I rock the sun and cross the black, red and yellow, flowing through my veins, a big red root. Yeah, I demand thousands of die just to make me a warrior leader. Transcend a monster with it. I can only rival by a few. Dreamer, a hustler, a schemer. Who likes to stay true? Forget everything you knew. Street warriors, we the truth. Listen to what we say. You won't want to leave. You see now, this is a new day. Solid rock, standing on. Sacred ground, living on borrowed time. I live the hands of change, going down. Good to that, good to get, one of you may go. Good to that, good to get, one of you may go. Good to that, good to get, one of you may go. Good to that, good to get, one of you may go. Good to that, good to get, one of you may go. Good to that, good to get, one of you may go. That is the young Mark Zulu fan. As I get closer to the ring, nah, I'm ready to put on the show. Here I am. This is the time. This is the time I've been training for. This is the time I've been waiting for. Um, once I enter the ring, that's my house. That's my, that's my domain. Ladies and gentlemen, this, our main event tonight, is a WBA international middleweight fight scheduled for 12 three-minute rounds. Introducing, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black trunks, weighing in at 71.7 kilos. His professional boxing record is an impressive one. 29 fights, 27 wins. 17 of those wins inside the distance. Trained and part of Grange Old School Boxing. With head trainer Graham Shaw in his corner. Originally from Camdale, he now calls Oakdale home. He's an Australian light middleweight champion and an IBO intercontinental light middleweight champion, Deadly Rob Medley! And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the yellow boxer trunks with the black trim, tipping the scale. His professional record, also an impressive one. 40 fights for 37 wins, 23 by way of knockout, three losses. Trained in the Tony Mundine Boxing Gym in Redfern by his father, Tony Mundine. Former WBA Super Middleweight Champion of the World, IBO Middleweight Champion of the World, Anthony And judging this middleweight bout, Mr. Gary Dean, Mr. Trevor Christian, Mr. Bernie McMahon, and your referee for this all important main event, Mr. Brian McMahon. Got a face back there. Oh, yeah. He's talking already, Anthony Mundine, but it doesn't worry Rob Medley, not a bit. For you punters out there, 
fightbet.com.au Anthony Mundine red hot favourite paying a dollar 18 Robert Medley 425 wouldn't be the first upset tonight certainly no that's uh, pretty big odds that doesn't you know on paper it doesn't give Rob Medley a chance and I think uh, look you know I think Chock's going to be a little bit big and maybe a bit too fast but Rob Medley certainly in with the chance It is 12 three minute rounds. Middleweight, 72.57 kilos, 11 stone six or 160 pounds if you like. Originally scheduled for junior middleweight, not the case. Medley in the black. Mundine in the yellow and black. And dominating centre ring. Looks physically the bigger of the two. Anthony Mundine, he does. For quite, quite a few, maybe the last five or six of Anthony Mundine's fights, his uh, incredible timing with his right hand has been absent. That's right. And also, you know, like uh, when, he, when he used to flurry, he'd flurry so more punches. His uh, work rate hasn't been what it has. But uh, Nader Hamden, who unfortunately was, uh, you know, got a bit bad cut in the contender semi final tonight, Anthony Mundine has worked very hard. Turned around by Medley. Yeah, good flurry from Mundine and, Ant and Medley was straight back. Anthony Mundine dropping down in weight. In his first 29 bouts, he scored 22 knockout victories. Yep. In his last eight fights, it's just the one. Yep. So a big change in either the tactics or the style of Anthony Mundine. There's a threshold when you're dropping weight. Once you go past that threshold, you lose your, your knockout power. Okay. Against the ropes, Rob Medley does nicely to move out of harm's way, sticks his very effective left jab out. Just keeping Anthony at range. You can ill afford to try and play a counter-punching role when you're fighting a man with the speed of Anthony Mundine. This boy's having a pretty good crack here, not much between him in this opening round. And there is just 60 seconds remaining in the opening round. A very small legal ring here at the Sydney Entertainment Centre. Is that going to play into the hands of Robert Medley, who takes a couple on the gloves and forearms? Medley forward. Doubling up with the left hand coming over the top of the left shoulder with the right. 30 seconds left in round number one. Is Daniel Gill the wild card here? Anthony Mundine fought him in May of last year. Robert Medley trains with him day in, day out. As Medley is tagged by the man. A high forearm there from Anthony. Robert Medley reminds me a lot of, of uh, Eric Lucas. He has a very strange, awkward sort of style. Roy Jones Jr. likes... Uh, using Eric Lucas as a sparring partner because he was so awkward. Yep. Interesting opening round. Both boys had their you moments. Know, drop your hand. It's the most important thing. I know you're relaxed, but don't drop them down here. Relax here. Head movement. Work your jab, mate. Your jab's working sensationally already. Just keep on it, don't you? Exactly right. Not Good as hard as you thought. Nice and relaxed. Nice and relaxed. Cut the breaths. Yeah. Doing well, Rob. Do not get caught in the ropes, okay? As soon as you feel you're getting there, step right away or just stick, stick your jab out and come to it. Don't worry about him too much. Make sure you're making the fight too. No, you Taking a look at some of the highlights from round one, it was a very much a feeling out process. Medley with a smile on his face, enjoying his work. So both guys threw a considerable amount of punches. However, majority and a high majority were taken on the gloves. Or slipped. Anthony dropping down in weight. Trained to throw 100 connecting punches around. And planned to go the distance at junior middleweight. 1,200 punches. to slip there, huge medley before repositioning himself continually circling to his left hand side and circling into Anthony's right hand
pushing forward medley in three punch combination. Merely range finders. Anthony Mundine trying to set medley up for the right hand, I think. Yeah, it looks that way. Pressing forward. Hands held high. Nice handwork there from Robert Medley. Medley boxing well. Speaking of Mundine there. Over the top of the shoulder there from Medley. Having a genuine conversation in there as Medley goes hard with the right. Good right hand from Medley. Good right hand left jab after. Good combination. I'm enjoying uh, Rob Medley's movement. And it's really, like I said before, he's keeping Anthony Mundine off balance. That was good again too, Medley. I don't think he's intimidated Robert Medley. Not at all. He's a fourth generation coal miner. He's tougher than shoe leather. Yes. He's certainly tough. And if Anthony wants to box, Medley will accommodate him. But if Anthony Mundine wants to fight, Rob Medley will love it. The two punch combination from Chuck. Front foot boxing from Robert Medley. Medley using the ring well. He's in, he's out. He is cobra fast, Anthony Mundine. Four or five left hands from Robert Medley and a searching right hand that could have been destructive. Now he goes back against the ropes and gives Anthony the opportunity to launch himself. 32 seconds remaining of this round. Medley acquitting himself well. Final stages of round number two. Anthony Mundine putting the pressure on. Great indicators of potentially what is to come here. Both guys have had their moments in round number two. Medley smiles as Mundine turns back to the corners. They go after six minutes. Wendell Saylor, Laurie Daly. Some of the rugby league community here to see Carl Webb and uh, staying around to see the man. Exactly, exactly. Some of the round two highlights. And Paul, both guys did have their moments. Right, yep. They, think, cer Paul? they certainly did. I mean, I think... Um, like I said before earlier, Andy, Robert Medley's style, I think, is Chucks is taking a little bit for him to work it out. He is awkward. He does throw punches in bunches. Keeps Chuck off balance, just purely with his movement. And he's got fast hands. Fast hands. Here we go, round number three, the 41st professional bout for Anthony Mundine, the 30th professional bout for Robert Medley. A three-time world champion up against a two-time world title contender. Nice from Medley, making Mundine miss. Mundine putting the pressure on though, walking up. Medley being very tight defensively. Looking for an opening now, Medley. Anthony Mundine had ambi ambitions about being the first man to go down three divisions and win world titles. Never been done before. For one reason or another, did not get down to the junior middleweight limit to contest for the IBO crown. Good right hand counter from Medley. Medley countering well and catching Mundine. up and Medley with a right hand to finish the exchange. The more fight in Rob Medley, many suggest the better the chance he has of winning. And the more he's able to turn this into a brawl. He's boxing well, Medley. He's really boxing well. He's coming up at times. 
Monday putting the majority of the pressure on Jay. You've got to give him, you're giving him points for that. Was there a little sign of frustration from Bobby Medley there? I just don't think he's been given the chance to set himself, and it may be disrupting him a little bit. He is a continuous wave of pressure, Anthony Mundine, and that jab is just starting to establish dominance. That was better, yeah. Good punching for Mundine. Rob Medley must have landed about four right hands in this fight so far. Three front and nine three. between them. Medley. A swipe, a left hand swipe. Just caught Anthony on the tip of the nose. As we approach the final 30 seconds of round number three. Brought into tonight, like I don't think I've seen before. And Anthony Mundine card, it has been high quality from the start. And now the man, the headline act, opens up, and he has met with a receipt from Robert Medley. Swifty lots of balance there. A receipt in the case of a right hand again by Robert Medley. What about the crowd here? Yeah. Sorry. On hand for the show. Capacity crowd almost. Wonderful night of action. Hope you've enjoyed it. Our first for main event boxing for 2010. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the third round. Anthony Mundine. A little more regularly with the left hand. The jab, such a setup punch for Anthony, the way he fights. Yep, he um, he put the pressure on, he landed better flurries that round. It was definitely a Monday round that round. But there's nothing, there's nothing in this fight at the stage. Anthony, following this fight, will go under the doctor's knife, under the surgeon's knife. That hip problem has triggered a groin issue, and it is ever, it's been getting increasingly worse for Anthony. And again, he is back to visit the surgeon. Always Monday. That was that was powerful. They were powerful punches. Starting to open up now. Man. Slowly pushes his way over. Trapping Medley back to ropes. Trying to land that left hook. Medley's defence tight, Paul. Too tight. Not firing back enough. That's it. He's got to fire back of those jabs. Hook off the jab and then follow it with the right hand. Robert Medley was a KO expert early in his career. Like Anthony, he has made some subtle changes to the structure in how he goes into a fight and what he does. As a result, his knockouts have been less frequent than what they were in the early portion of his career. Also, it's you know it's when a fighter is learning, they're likely to give him matches that you know build his record. Yeah. As he improves and gets up in stature, he's fighting tougher opponents. Yeah, undeniably. And the fighting guys here get a punch, and they're still going to be there. They're going to keep coming as you climb the ranks. Well, Medley dropped the hand for a split second and Mundine was quick to capitalise with the right hand. Mundine boxing very well with him so far. And that's what it is, it's a boxing match. It's not the fight that many suggested Rob Medley would try and engage Anthony. Oh, he's stopped from Mundine. Medley awkwardly lunged with his left hand there and tripled it up. Medley trying to exert his strength there. Good left rip from Medley. There's that 
jab again. The jab's the winner for Monday. Final 21 seconds. Uh, round number four. Mundine with several and Medley with a good one to finish. Medley fires back with both hands. Medley coming on well. Fashion stare down at the end of the round. Rob Medley goes back to his corner. Anthony Mundine does likewise. We're four rounds down. Potentially eight remaining. in the crowd at the back of the building. We turn our attention, or the main our attention, center ring. Oh, Mundin opening up here against Medley. Great way to start. Anthony Mundin. Round number five. Really exerting the pressure here and putting the combination together well. Really putting the pressure on Medley. Big punches. He really has been on the front foot and in Rob Medley's face at every opportunity has not given Rob the chance to set and strike. That's it, Rob Medley's just, he's just gonna keep stepping up, keep stepping forward, keep applying that pressure. Don't let Mundine get set. Well, and at this stage, Anthony Mundine's taking control of the five balls. Too strong on the front foot, his combinations are better. Um, you know, Rob Medley's done well with some of his combinations, but uh, just uh, too much coming back from Mundine at this stage. Too much pressure. Not power, it's pressure. That's what we're seeing at the moment, halfway through round number five. He seems to be picking his work rate up each round too, Anthony Mundine. Gaining in confidence. Both men last four. October 23 of last year in Launceston. Daniel Deal was the other headline act down there. The crowd roars for Medley as Mundine spins and strikes. Lining him up for the right hand, clubbing right hand over the top for Mundine. Medley hasn't appeared to have been hurt at any stage so far, I don't think, Paul, do you? No, not at all. Firing back well here too. And he seems to be gaining confidence himself. Chopping, four or five chopping right hand. For Monday. Oh, oh nice. is that a temple oh, shot for Anthony Monday? Nice little overhand hand right, I think it did he, I think it shook him a little bit there. From Robert Medley, nice overhand right. Stop. Is the window of opportunity open here in the final seconds of round number five for Robbie Medley? It appears to be shut, temporarily anyway. I think cause for optimism for you Rob Medley fans around Australia at the moment. The last 60 seconds of this round, he's lifted the game to a new level. Waiting on the 
ropes. You're not making the fight. You've got plenty left. Squeeze it all over him. You've got Let's to push him. Up. No, push him, push him, push him. As he's laying around, you're under over him. Deep breath, not short. Deep, deep. Keep going with him. Back to the body. Back to the Jeff highlights from the fifth. Rob oh, Bentley, there's that clubbing right hand over the top there. Might have landed on the temple. Yeah, there it is again. Another mm. replay of it. Did, did appear to shake him a little bit. Almost, almost uh, the back of the ear, almost on top of the ear, you know, around the, 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 the back of the temple. Not Reminiscent far. of Danny Green and uh, Roy Jones Jr. Not far That's right. from where Svenovki. Exactly. That's what yes. they just stop there. WBA World Title fight. And that's where Roy Jones was hit too, don't worry. Yeah. Toes, Robert Medley on his heels. He's been relentless. The man, yeah, walking up with the pressure beyond that stiff jab. The tape has come loose on the right glove of Anthony Mundine, Not for the first time. <laughs> we have this issue at the Boondle Entertainment Center against Daniel Gear. I just can't. Referee Brian McMahon's got to pick this up shortly. Chasing Rob Medley around the ring. This is the sixth round of Rob Medley. He was caught right in the abdomen and buckled him over. Quick to recover. Snapping body shot. A brutal body shot. Is it going to have the desired effect and lower the hands of the man they call Deadly? Rob Medley in superb condition, but, you know, those punches have got a cumulative effect. Mundane really boxing well now. Don't you think, Paul? He seems to have found his rhythm. He does. Oh, he's got him in the eye. The suggestion that was a little low from Anthony, the first of two shots. Now referee Brian McMahon, obviously a different view. Very little of the fight has been spent with Anthony Mundine against the ropes. He has dominated that centre ring position as Rob Medley doubles up with the left hand, but then doesn't launch into it. And a very stiff jab, but... Uh, Mundane's firing back two and three. You know, Medley doesn't appear, except for that, that snapping body shot, he seems to have taken these headshots well so far. Yeah, I fully agree. Yeah. Nothing seems to have really phased Rob Medley at all. He hasn't, uh, Mundine hasn't really got Medley's attention with anything. Has Anthony Mundine got the power to compete against the best and knock them out at middleweight? Is middleweight his best division? Well, you know, history to, to me, what I've seen of his career says, to, says no to me. He was more far more powerful than heavier weight. Oh, good. Super middle? Super middle, yeah. yeah. And then with the right hand stretching out and a good round from Anthony. Very good round. Team Medley watching on. And doing so nervously with the crew from Range Old School Boxing. Let's hope they get the tape under control. Some of the highlights from round number six. We are halfway home if, in fact, we go to the judges' scorecards. And maybe it looked better than it actually was, that one, Barry? Oh, I think so. No, I think it snapped his win, for sure. But he was... Yeah, no, I think it de definitely, you know, got his attention. Garth Wood. 
Still tending to that massive cut over the left eye. What is he thinking? Because on his radar, all of a sudden, is Anthony Mundine. <laughs> He's probably counting the run already. And he'll make a very interesting fight of it. It might not be pretty to watch, but it'll be good to watch. He's pushing Robert Medley into the neutral corner, and the coal miner just shuffles out a little bit. Now standing centre ring. And holding his ground, standing strong. A very good mover is Robbie Medley. 101 amateur fights, 78 victories. Look, he's a, he's a class boxer. He really is. He's got good hand speed, he's got good power, tough. You know, he's, let's remember he's fighting an ex-world two middleweight champion. And an IBA middleweight champion. Yep. Good jabbing there. Doubles, triples. Nice from London, a straight right hand. Oh, good double good. Uppercut led the barrage there. And screams from the red corner from the crew at the Grange to keep your hands up. Good jabbing from Rob Medley there. Worked his left hand in well. They were talking how well Rob had been training in preparation for this and the sacrifices that he had made over the holiday period. They came into this contest as they always do, the crew, with a quiet confidence about it. Well, a very professional operation, the Grange boys. And Robert Medley just giving an unbelievable account of himself, really rising to the occasion. Certainly is. And the heavily tattoo. Robert Medley pushed back against the ropes, strikes out and then fires up. A little bit of show here from Anthony Mundine before he launches into work again. That means something that uh, Rob Medley did got his attention. <laughs> 30 seconds to go. Round number seven. Last time we saw Anthony Mundine, we commented on a distinct limp. And issues with that hip and groin. A little bit robotic here tonight in the lower half of his body, but that hip and groin doesn't seem to be facing him as much as it did in Tasmania. Yeah, now in Tassie, he definitely had a pronounced limp. And he's definitely not chasing like he was in Tasmania. Yeah. Oh, that was a good right hand. Right on the bell, but Rob Medley took it well. Actually, Medley's best round for a while, I would say. I think so. Jamie Pittman in the crowd. He'd love a little bit of Anthony Mundine, Dean manager. Next to him. What a night it has been, and it's not over by a long shot. We've seen Garth Wood realise a dream. And Rob Medley do the same. Here's the crew from Sydney's southwest, the boys from Oakdale, have come in numbers to support their man. And that man is Rob Medley. Round number eight. I've just noticed that uh, in Anthony Mundine's corners, not only his father and uh, George Reno, but uh, Jeff the Flash Malcolm. He had over 100 professional fights yep. and actually got a 10 round victory over me in 1976, I think it might have been. Very accomplished boxer he was, certainly was. <laughs> Gee, it's, it's, it is getting to the point already where Robbie Medley is going to need to win each and every round from here on in with yeah. five left. Oh, good right hand. Good right hand coming from Medley. But both boys swapping big punches here. But yeah, I think you're right there, um, Andy. 
Well, they can go ahead on points at this stage, but Medley firing back. And Robbie Medley turning this into a fight. And Anthony Mundine accommodates him. Arguably the fight of 2009 was Anthony Mundine, Daniel Gear. Classic fight. Classic boxing match. Trying to sneak around the gloves there. Anthony Mundine of Daniel of uh, Robbie Medley. Daniel Gill on the mind. Short up cuts there by Anthony Mundine. Daniel Gill here watching from the second row. Striking out with that left hand again. A slight trickle of blood out of the nose of Robert Medley, but neither guy looks as though they've taken any deal of punishment. And Medley continues to smile all the way through this. He's enjoying his moment and his opportunity underneath the bright lights. Still plenty of talking going on as Medley turns. Standing a little stronger at times in centre ring, Robert Medley. Good, good exchange of punches there. Good ones from Medley. Shot fires back. Same so show a bit. He's got a little bit of show, but a lot of go in him. Anthony Mundine is Robert Medley. Charges across the ring. He's not going to like this. Not one bit. Right back on the attack. The crowd loving this. Bit of showboating in the alley shuffle from Anthony Mundine. Again, a good showing from Robert Medley. I think it's his best round for quite a while. I think so. now enjoying or inciting the fans whichever way you want to look at it all smiles is the real deal daniel gill wouldn't he love another crack i'm sure he would at anthony mundine what it provided. A little bit of showmanship from Anthony Mundine. Certainly, yeah. The crowd loved that. He does the shuffle there. The medley crew watching on and loving every minute of it. Here we go, round number nine. Rob Medley more than making a fight of this. However, on the scorecard, you know, he, he is being dominated. Well, you know, you're right. I, I knew he'd make a hell of a fight. Like, you know, he's a warrior and he's a, he's a class fighter, Rob Medley. Three ringside judges, Gary Dean, Trevor Christian, Bernie McMahon and Bernie's twin brother, Brian, as the referee. Two left hands from Anthony Mundine, straight. Sharp and well directed. In fact, the receipt was there from Medley. Nice turn from Robert Medley. Battle of strength there, almost in the vertical bracket position. To see just a little bit more desperation, perhaps a little more aggro in Rod Medley. Yeah, maybe should try and take the fight up to chop more, but probably easier said than done. Yeah, uh, undeniably. I just want to see uh, Rod Medley get behind his jab again. The jab was working the trick for him. Anthony Mundine has slipped here. But he has hurt his groin. Yeah. The face is a pain face for yeah. Anthony Mundine. Definitely. 
You can see the way he actually got himself back up from I'd like to have a look at that afterwards, but definitely there was uh, pain there. It seemed like he was at a point where he had no control over a certain sideward movement. And, and, and there we go, slipping in the same area. And Anthony Mundine's glove has come loose again. His left glove. A lot of water on the canvas on the contender signage, making it near impossible for both guys to get any genuine traction. Yeah, he's looking for that right hand. He landed there, Rob Medley. With a big right hand. Best punch in the fight by both boys there. Yeah, here goes Rob Medley. He's got the fire in the eyes. Look at the tape on the left glove of Jock. Yeah, that's come loose as well. Both guys desperately trying to avoid planting their feet. On the sponsorship signage as Medley struck nicely with the right hand. That counter beautifully with that right hand. That's what I want to see. More jabbing. Round number nine, the final ten seconds. The starting round. Certainly was. Back to the corners after nine. Knock him down. You can knock him down, Robbie. That was a knockdown. Deep reps, deep reps. Three rounds to go. You can hurt. You just prove yourself you can put him off. He's got to work on him. You want to throw more punches at him? Okay, there's the slip of Anthony Mundine. Initially, it was the left leg, then the right. But it was when he was getting up, he was in a great deal of pain. A lot of struggle there. Yeah. He knew it was a slip. Rob Medley knew it was a slip. So too the referee. And then uh, Rob slipped in the same spot. But what about that? What a shot of the Sydney Entertainment Centre. Round number 10 in this 12-round contest. The Grange boys trying to encourage Rob Medley to jump straight into his work and remain off his heels. Both guys showing amazing stamina and durability. Good boxing from Rob Medley. I mean, you know, he chocks, mm. chocks in control, but he's firing back well. That left hand, is that still a little loose? The tape on the left glove of Anthony Monday? I think they did fix it, but uh, they haven't cut it. It's coming, it's coming loose again. Medley across the ring. Over the top of that left ear of Anthony Mundine. Three-time world champion. And he gets the two-time world championship challenger in Medley. Oh, clubbing body shot. You can shot. hear that echo around. Sydney Entertainment Centre, Darling Harbour, and anywhere else within a 10k radius. He took it without flinching, Rob Medley. Slipped on that spot again. This is the best we've seen of Robert Medley over a long period of time. But I also think it's a fight Robbie Medley will look back on and maybe wish that he had have just pushed a little harder and tougher earlier. And a little bit more consistent. Look at Mountain open up. Medley catches a high majority, then looks at the man and says, come on. The best I've seen Mundine throw his combinations in a number of fights to be honest. Middle way? Middle, middle way, yes. The best I've seen him put them together for quite a while. Staying outside range, Medley. Tough nut, but also a very smart boxer, as we heard Daniel Gill say earlier. Opportunity to keep going forward here for Rob. Don't wait. That is the call coming from the Grange corner. Fair call too. And we're 
they're going to get a cleanup. I, I really don't think it's going to make any difference. There's hardly any water on that can. As soon as it gets wet, it just gets slippery again. Both guys absolutely soaked here. We continue on. Oh. Manly with an uppercut and an overhand right. Mundoon head hunting as well. Final Frank 10 Cameron. seconds of the round. Calling Medley on. Medley firing back. Drop time to come on. To the corners we go. This has been fun. Medley and Mundine, we move into the championship rounds. Round 11 awaits us. This is round number 10. Good uppercut there from Rob Medley on the replay there. Always a good indicator of if Anthony has been hit is his response. And that response indicated to me that he got hit and didn't like it a great deal. And I can completely understand it too. For sure, he got hit cleanly with an uppercut there. Six round minutes over. to go. Championship rounds. Hope you've enjoyed the action on main event boxing. An historical night in well, Australian boxing, Australian sport, and also Australian television. And we're proud to bring it to you, and we'll continue to do so over 2010. What a year it promises to be. Big one. Medley says, bring it on. Cookie the car miner. Is it time for Rob Medley to throw caution to the wind? To forget about game plan, anything else, yeah. and just go head hunting. Yeah. That's right, Andy. Last two rounds, he's just got to open up. Yeah. He's got nothing to lose now. He's got nothing to lose. Short, sharp right hands from Anthony. World champion, the number one in the WBA, the number five in the IBF, and the number three independently rated by box rep, John Cole. Well, look at middleweight he stays at. I don't think so. No, neither do I. Super middleweight is where the contender was fought on. Garth Wood tonight victorious over Carries Karyuki. Yeah, that's very nice, very nice, Rob Medley. He's just got to keep going, got to keep opening up. Good exchange there from Chop. Anthony Mundane, well in control of the fight, but a very good performance from Rob Medley. 60 seconds left, round 11. And you get the feeling Cyclone Medley will hit in the 12th and final. But has he left the run too late? Well, he has to, he has to score a knockout on our unofficial cards, but, uh, and I think it's unlikely. But he's put up a, a very good boxing exhibition. Has he? Been, been, you know, in the Without control. Doubt. Yeah, good high pace fight. A lot of punches. So, oh, good right hand from Rob Medley. One of his better shots. His work rate. I speak of Anthony is just so good and so consistent. Yep. The, be the best his work rate's been in quite a number of fights. I concur. Ten seconds left, round number 11. Anthony Mundine in control and Rob Medley 
He needs a knockout to win here at the Sydney Entertainment Centre. He's got three minutes to do it. Got a knockout to win. Deep breaths, deep breaths. You've done everything else. You've got to knock Deep breaths, deep breaths. you got a good three minutes left in your mouth, okay? you got, mate, you like what it is. You've got too much left in the tank. You've got to push, push. You've got to out-punch him, okay? You've got to out-punch him. You've got to out-punch him this round. You've got to keep going to him, going to him, going to him. Okay? I want you to be really... Don't you on the ropes. Don't you dodging him back. Make a decision, mate. But to listen in to the instructions from both corners after 33 minutes, just three remain. Rob Medley standing centre in, saying, I'm ready. Touch him up, and here we go. Rob Medley needing a knockout to post a victory over Anthony Mundine. Over the top of the left shoulder. The sweat of Medley. Rock back with his head on two occasions. This is where Mundine is exceptional. His opponent with limited movement. Medley punching from awkward angles and awkward positions. He just keeps firing back. Yeah, doesn't he? Oh, good body punching from Medley, but he was hit with a good shot. I think it was a split, but he was hit with a good uppercut. Yeah. Was it an uppercut? Uh, a good slip, a uh, good shot, but it certainly was a slip. We've seen a few of them so far in this fight. Very slippery canvas. Seconds remain. The, the Medley corner with Medley nearly slipped again. The Medley corner calling him on to work hard. Try and land that big one, but time's running out for Medley Rob Medley. Both guys outstanding physical fitness. They still look good. They're still going strong, still sharp. Good with that hand. Into the corner. Is this the chance for Medley with 60 seconds remaining? Anthony Mundine, a beautiful turn and throw. Fires back brilliantly. That left hand like a snake. That jab of Mundine's like a lightning it is. Good body shot from Medley. Good right to the side. 30 seconds remaining for the WBA International Middleweight title. Three-time world champ has done enough. A good display of middleweight. A very good display of middleweight from Anthony Mundine. And Robert Medley has fought the fight of his life. Was Mundine hurt then or did he? I don't know if it was hurt or if it was just I think he was around. I think he was mucking around, I think. Big finish by Rob Medley. Big finish. What about the respect center ring? Anthony Mundine and Robert Medley have been to work for 36 minutes here at the Sydney Entertainment Center. That was the most interesting sense of clowning around. Yeah. After being hit that I've ever seen. Makes you question whether it was a, a, a good shot landed or if he was just clowning around. Would be good to uh, have a look at it if we got a chance, but it uh, might be difficult at this stage. Mm. Just clearing here. Anthony Mundine moves over to the security of his corner. <laughs> Take a look at uh, round number 12.
No, he was clowning. Yeah. He did get tagged, make yeah. no mistake about it. But, yeah, no, uh, he was clowning for sure. Look, you know, he wasn't... Look, look. Uh, whoa, oh, that was a good right hand. Then he fires back. Good, just some good punches landed there by Medley in that last round. Highly entertaining. I think that sums it up. Anthony Munzine and Rob Medley. Anthony went in to the match. Red hot favourite yet again. And Robert Medley in his 30th pro outing. Certainly the plenty to hold his head high about. His best performance for mine. Box very well. Mm, I think so. Really rose to the occasion. Fighting such a quality opponent in Anthony Mundine really brought out the best yep. in Robert Medley. Robert Medley slowly climbed up through the weights, so it was a welter and now has moved into normally junior or light middleweight. So he's fighting a little heavier than yeah, where yeah, he's yeah. used to. Comfortable, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, you know, you, his, his best way is obviously light middleweight. You, can, yep. you, you make it as low as you possibly can without hurting yourself. And that is where they saw this fight taking place. Supposedly. Let's head centre ring for the official announcement. Let's go into Matt Campbell. Well, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Two world-class fighters. We've gone the distance. As we take a look at the judges' scorecards, Judge Bernie McMahon has scored about 117-113. Judge Gary Dean has scored about 117-115. Judge Trevor Christian has scored the bout 117-112. Your winner in this WBA International Middleweight bout by unanimous points decision from the blue corner, Anthony Mundine. Anthony Mundine victorious via unanimous points decision. Robert Medley has gained a whole heap of new fans here. What a performance from the man they call Deadly, making his way to his wife and the crew at the Grange now. You've not seen the last of this young man. No, you can certainly hold his head up high. Without a doubt. Congratulations, mate. Uh, he's a world-class fighter, and every time he looked as though you'd get on top, he came back. Anyone that comes out of Grange Old School Boxing knows what they're doing. Yeah, man, um, Bill, Bill and Gary, they do a good job with, all, with the boys. Um, they're ready to fight, you know what I mean? They came, gave me it all. I knew I was the superior fighter. I don't know what the judges were doing, man. I, I landed the cleanest shots. He, he never hurt me once, and I don't know, man. You look sharp tonight, though. I was impressed. It was a polished performance. Yeah, I would like to get him out of there, but he showed his preparation, I think, um, over the last three months or whatever. Really kept him in the fight. But it was a shutout, man. It was a shutout, and it's just, uh, I don't know, man. Just... Does it concern you you're winning, but does it concern you as you drop weight that you're winning on points? The knockouts are now few and far between. Yeah, I haven't had one for a while. I, I tried to look for one tonight, but... Uh, there's nothing wrong with my strength, nothing wrong with my power. It's just the timing, the timing and um, getting the, the punches running the right spot. I, try, I think I tried a little bit too hard tonight. I gotta, when I knock him out, it's, it's more of just um, taking the time and the timing coming and being sharp and crisp. Got a bit slippery there a couple of times. I noticed when you got up a couple of times, you looked a bit sore. How's the hip? That's all right, man. I'm, I have to have surgery again on, 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 on something, so... I might just take a little vacation, but I need to step up, man. It's hard to get up for these fights, you know. These, fight, these guys are fighting for everything. They're fighting for everything. Um, you know, when they fight me, they'll, they'll, it's their glory. But for me, it's, it's just a fight, you know. It's hard to get up. I mean, I train hard, but I don't think the, the eye of the tiger is there. When, when I get a challenge, when I get a real challenge, that's when I'll come out.
A lot of people watching tonight. Daniel Gill was ringside. That was his close fight. And of course, how, did you get a chance to see Garth Wood, who's won the contender now, so he gets a shot at you? Yeah, Garth, man, he's a good, good guy, a good friend of mine. You know, it's going to be hard to fight him, man. But you know, we are, we'll, um, we'll fight him, and we have to beat him. But um, it's a business, and that's what we got to do. But what I'm trying to say is that I'm the best, and secondly, I'm the best. That's it. Well done, Shock. Good effort tonight. Polished performance. Easy win. Ladies and gentlemen, Anthony the Man Mundine. Anthony Mundine, victorious yet again here in front of an audience. 41 fights, 38 wins, 23 inside the distance now for Anthony. What a night it has been on main event boxing from the Sydney